Hey there, it's a Kins Talk Excel help tutorial. Quoting system using something called ranges, named ranges, defined name ranges, and VLOOKUPs are some functions in Excel that we're going to use to do a little quoting system. I have a request on one of the sites where um, I pick up a lot of Excel contracting work. Elance is a great place to do it. And uh, the person's asking, I want to, you know, I have a list of a bunch of products, you know, like TVs, VCRs or something, uh, different brands, uh, different types, different sizes. And what I want to do is I, I have a price frame. I want to create some kind of list where I can just use a drop down menu and look them up like this Samsung LCD 36 inch TV. I've already programmed it in here. You choose the product, product to TV. The type of product is a Samsung. The size, or, or actually that's not size, sorry, this is uh, brand, this is type, and that's size. The type was an LCD 36 inch, so we're looking for an LCD, we're looking for a 36 inch, and everything's going to pull in from this other sheet and give you the price and the discount. If you want to type in a discount, 5% discount, it would be that, and there would be your total price. That's how this works is these are all named ranges under a, a data validation is the way to do this. You go in here and um, each one of these areas is, is that's called prod. That's this area right here. It's you know different names of your TVs, your brands, your types and all that. Um, you call this an area and then you have the drop down capability. Now um, it's pretty easy to do with a large list. I just made a sample list of, of six different records. You can do this with hundreds or thousands. Also, you can change this around so you won't get any errors. For example, if I change this to VCR right now, this doesn't exist, so there is no price for this. But you can make it so that these drop-down menus are dependent upon the decisions you make up top, so that only VCRs will be shown will be the certain brands and then the certain types that are under that, certain sizes under that. The way that you do that is you create different ranges for all the different possibilities that you can have and I'll show you how to do that if you need to do that because a lot of people want to you know only choose something that exists so that they always get an answer but that's uh, the basics there's also some VLOOKUPs that that uh, go in here and you know figure out they look at the combination that you've chosen and then give you the price there's a VLOOKUP formula right here um, that just grabs all these different things and puts them in a string together and then looks for them on this master sheet. So it can be done pretty fast. Um, if you have any questions or you want to build your own or you want to make your own dependent named ranges, there's something called an indirect formula that you have to use if you're going to be changing different named ranges around. I'll probably get into that in another video, but that's an Excel Ken's Talk Quickie. You can do this quite fast and build little report sheets for any string of data you want, as long as it looks like a big old rectangle like this. So that's Ken's talk. Merry Excelling.